Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, guys. Today is Saturday. I always am so bad at the date. I don't know, March 9th, I think. <laughs> March 9th, actually. Yes, March 9th, it's wedding day. My friend's getting married today. I'm so excited. I've already cried twice today because I saw a picture of her with her fiance and then I saw this thing on Instagram about some guy proposing and I was just like very emotional. So it's gonna be a very emotional day. So I was, <laughs> Kona. I wasn't planning on vlogging today, but I was at the gym and I was like, it'd be kind of cool to do like a get ready with me and not like, a tutorial uh, by any means, but just kind of show you guys the process because it's gonna be a long process, you know what I'm saying? So right now it is, what time is it? 11.30, Taz and I woke up around 8, 8.15, had some coffee, did our little devotionals, our little morning routine. He went to the gym to work out. I just went to our apartment gym complex, our apartment complex gym to do some cardio and I just got back. You can see I am a sweaty, Betty <laughs> and I wanted to give you a quick update on <laughs> my cut your girl woke up at 168 point something today so I'm down three or four pounds which I'm really happy about I'm sticking to it guys I'm sticking to it it's been a, a hot minute since I've done like a cut or like uh, whatever so pretty proud of myself um, and yeah so here's what I have to do for today I need to wash this mane. I need to do my toes, my toenails, because they're gross. Um, I have to eat. <laughs> I have to um, do my makeup, which I'm planning on going full force, you know? So I just figured I'd take you guys through, through the entire day. So like I said, it's 11.30. I haven't had anything to eat. I'm probably just gonna have a quick yogurt just to put something in my belly. Um, and yeah, let's do this. I actually have no plan. Why do I still have this? I actually have no plan on how this day or this video is gonna go because I've never really done a get ready with me, but we'll figure it out together. So here we go. This is one of my favorite mixes. It's just chocolate protein with some fat-free Greek yogurt. It's like a little chocolate pudding. So this is what I'm gonna have to start my day and then let the wedding prep begin. So I always get this question and I figured I'd just show you guys because I'm about to blow your mind. Uh, people always ask me how I either weigh out peanut butter or uh, Greek yogurt or anything of that nature, like sour cream, things like that. And so what I like to do, <laughs> you ready to get your mind blown? Here's your scale, right? Sorry, it's a bit dirty. Here's your scale at zero. You're gonna take whatever you wanna measure out in this instance, it's the Greek yogurt. You're gonna put it on the scale and you see how it starts to weigh it, obviously. You're gonna tear that so it goes to zero. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna grab how much you want. Let's do 170. So when you take out, this is gonna change. So this is how much you have that. Right here on my spoon, I have 76 grams. Get that? And then you're just gonna keep going until you hit the 170. Oh, this is a lot of yogurt. And also, oh, perfect! So there it is, that's my serving. See, mind blown. Oh, 171, oh, 170, 171, 170. So yeah, that's it, ta-da! Zero fat, seven carbs, 17 protein. Greek yogurt is the shizness. All right, so if you've been slipping on it, don't. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with my protein. Put that in there. And it's 28, 26, so I just need a little bit more. Ta-da! Perfect. And then all you do is mix it away. I, I can't do that with one hand. I'll be right back. Okay, this is why I love this protein so much. It is so smooth. Once you mix it in, there's no clumps. It, this is, for those of you that don't know what I'm using right now, this is just the Optimum Nutrition Isolate. It's literally not clumpy at all and tastes amazing. This is what it looks like. And I just wanna point out why I'm having this right now. When you go to an event or a party or whatever, usually it's very carbon fat heavy and not very protein heavy. So I wanted to make sure I get all my protein in, which is why I'm having this protein yogurt thing. This actually brought my macros up to 42 protein, eight carbs and zero fat. So this is a fantastic snack for when you need a lot of protein and minimal carbs and no fat. So I'm gonna enjoy this and start to get ready. Here we go. Okay, here we go. 
also keeping my water intake high i've already had three of those like water bottles that's this is the third first i'm going to take off my toenail polish because your girl i'm not even going to show it to you guys i'm going to actually um save you from that experience so i'm going to take this off before i shower and then i'm going to do my nails after my shower so um i'm really excited for what i'm wearing today i actually bought it a couple months ago and i didn't have um anywhere to wear it to and so i was just saving it and saving it and saving it until today <laughs> i'm so excited i tried it on yesterday and taz was so sweet like he just couldn't believe what he was looking at i know it sounds really funny but he was just like you look so beautiful so i'm really excited to see his face after like i get all done up you know what i mean because we don't really ever get done up we don't really like do date night and if we do we're like super cash uh casual if you don't know what that means <laughs> i'm such a dork uh, oh this is so annoying i have dark nail polish on oh shoot I forgot that I, my nails, my nails are done. Okay, let's be more careful, yummy. So yeah, I'm really excited. I was looking up like inspo for makeup today because I'm not really like good coming up with it. So I just like need an inspiration and then um, hopefully the makeup comes out okay. <laughs> and then I was also debating if I should straighten my hair or if I should curl it for today. But I wanted to straighten it, but then part of me was like, you're, gonna, you're not gonna like it. So um, we'll straighten it for another for another day. I don't know, I'm, that's just my thing. My curls are my thing and I just don't wanna, I don't know. I don't like blending in and I know everyone's gonna have straight hair. <laughs> Is that weird? That's why I felt in one of my competitions. I just strained it just because to do it differently and then I just did not feel like myself the day of. So I will just strain it another time. I was just kind of curious to see how it would look now that it's shorter but it's all right. All right, I'm just babbling now. So I'm gonna go get finish this and then get in the shower. Bye. Okay, so that's done, and I figured I'd share with you guys what I'm putting on my face, or the most requested questions, and one of them is my hair. So I don't do anything crazy, I just use literally this suave shampoo and conditioner to wash my hair, and then um, I'll show you what I put in it, because it changes kind of every day, kind of depends what I have on me, and then I'm really gonna prime the face today. So Dermalogica, Dermalogica. <sighs> These are hard videos, man. I feel like I have to share everything. So I just use this little trio. First one is the pre-cleanse, and you just do this with a dry face. And then in the shower, I'll do the special cleansing gel. And then after that, I'll do the daily microfoliant. And then after that, I'll put this intensive moisturizer on. And then just really prep the skin because I want to look fresh, you know? I never really get this done up, so I just want to, you know, enjoy it. Oh, I also... <laughs> See, this is hard. I also just use this brush and I detangle my hair in the shower because if I don't detangle it in the shower, <laughs> it just, it kind of sucks. I go between this regular comb, I think, comb brush, and then this wet brush because I know it's better for your hair. Okay, now for real, I'm gonna go shower. <laughs> Hey, I have just put on oh, all the coconut oil on my body. I actually love using coconut oil. I'm just gonna grab it. Bleaker, stop licking me. I know it's coconut oil. This is what I've been using. This is the coconut oil from the Grove Collaborative. It's just skin superfood, but I'm pretty sure you can just use non-cooking <laughs> coconut oil. Uh, but yeah, I just put that all over my body to moisturize. And um, I actually use this in the shower for my hair. It's just a moisture healing mask. And this is from Nelson Beverly Hills. Uh, detangles, controls frizz, prevents hair color fading, seals split ends, protects from chlorine and salt water, restores silkiness and shine, and enhances natural body. And this is kind of what I do. So I only had that in there, so I was like, oh, I'll use it. And I only had a little bit left, so I was like, mm, why not? I actually got this from a FabFitFun box, I think, or one of those. But it's empty now, so it's going in the trash. All right, I was going to do my toes first, but I'm going to do my hair first because I want it to dry completely. By the time we get to the wedding, I might diffuse it. I don't really do that, but I might because I don't like looking like a wet dog. So I'm going to put on some clothes and uh, do my hair. For my hair, this is what I'll be using. Um, these are the three things that I'll be using today. Barnier Fructis Buttercream. And then I'll be using literally the suave conditioner. It's upside down because I'm running out. Um, just a suave conditioner. And then this new product 
that I got in the FabFitFun box. This is the Wee Leave-In Conditioner. You see that I've already been using it and I actually fell in love with it. And I wash my hair when I rinse out the conditioner. I only do like a one rinse. Um, I don't take out the conditioner completely. So I should have some product left in my hair. Um, and then with these three things, I'm literally just gonna go in there, no rhyme or reason. Start with this, then this, and then finish off with this because this is a spray. Oh, just kidding, I have one more product. It's this BioSilk. I usually just use any like argan oil or Moroccan oil. I ran out of those, so this is just this is just like a an oil to, to end with. So that's the four, and uh, let's do this again. No rhyme or reason. Here we go. Is what my hair looks like when I it's still a little bit wet so it's not completely diffused but it's like the perfect curl but I just don't have time to do this every single time you know what I mean and it's still a little bit flat so I'm gonna just hold off for a little bit because I'm tired and hot <laughs> from diffusing my hair and um, move on to the next step but yeah this is what it looks like um, I just wanted to get a little bit bigger so maybe I will diffuse it a little bit more here we are <laughs> Taz is right there ironing his shirt and I'm not super hungry, but it comes in waves. So I just made myself some lunch. I'm having rice cauliflower, two servings of that, so like 85 times two, whatever that is. And then 5.5 ounces of chicken, and then some sour cream on top. Again, I'm not super hungry. I'm just gonna start doing my makeup, and I'm really hot. I don't wanna start my makeup until I cool off because I'm gonna sweat. So, let's wait. I know what I'll do, I'll put on my face mask. I am gonna use this as like a facial mask slash primer. I've never used it before. I'm not even sure where it came from, probably a box or something. And this is from BioBell. And it is uh, a primer, prep the skin for a flawless makeup application. Um, yeah, that's all. Oh, it's, I, I kinda hate these masks that are not like peeled because they're so like just messy. How many, like, come on. We got, we got it gone. All right, here we go. So I have to leave this on for five minutes. Now you see me, now you don't. Oh, this feels really good. Remember how I said I was really warm? Well, this is definitely cooling me off. Hey Siri, set timer for five minutes. That's awkward. Okay, 1.37. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Okay, five minutes are up. Do I look any different? Oh, wow, this is kind of dirty though. Cool. All right, let's put this bad boy back. It's going in the trash. I'm not going to reuse it. <laughs> and then we are going to just just put this all over. I have a mess of things that I will be using for today's makeup look. I'm not going to share everything with you guys because obviously this is not a tutorial, but I just wanted to show you the process. So. I'm gonna get going because we gotta leave in an hour because the wedding's like an hour and 10 minutes away and the wedding's at 4.30. It's now 1.47. So, wish me luck because your girl is not a makeup guru. Okay, bye. One hour later. Okay, we're back, we're done. Just kidding. I tried to do my makeup one time, hated it, took it off. Tried a second time, hated it, took it off. So now we're doing a third time and I was actually trying to follow a tutorial and it wasn't working. Um, you can still kind of see like the red and the orange. But um, we're, we're just going to do something else. I'm not even going to follow the tutorial. I'm just going to follow my heart on this one. <laughs> Wish me luck. I'm done and this is the final look. I don't know where it came from, but I'm kind of loving it So I'm actually very happy with it. It's more purpley than I wanted it to be, but it works fine now We're running late. So I got to go change really fast and then we'll head out 
I'm so excited. Lauren's getting married today. Taz is ready. Kind of. Yeah, this is what I'm wearing. <laughs> yeah, no, he has his stuff right here. We just have an hour and like 10 minute car ride, so he didn't want to like sweat. Okay, I'm gonna go finish getting ready and then I'll come back and show you the grand reveal. Okay, hurry, bye. hurry, hurry, hurry. <laughs> Uh, love the dress. It's from Passion Nova. I don't remember how much it was. I'll link it in the description box below because I, I don't remember. I bought it a few months ago and like I said, I didn't have anywhere to, anywhere to wear it to so <laughs> this is it. Um, feeling quite comfortable. I don't feel like I'm gonna like bust out so I'm really excited but we're late so we're gonna go but again this is the final look. I don't love my hair just yet. It's got to dry a little bit more to get a little bit bigger but hopefully the hour will allow that so Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you later.